It's time for another news. We take a look at the news stories that may not be on your radar, but they should be. A former Wells Fargo employee named Orlando Henderson, yes, that's Orlando with an A, is charged with stealing more than $88,000 in cash from the vault of a bank in North Carolina, then posting pictures with the cash he stole and the expensive items he bought on social media. Bruh, your IG is going to be the star witness in the trial. He would get a Crime Stoppers reward if he wasn't snitching on himself. You know what? This is why I never trust anybody named Orlando. If your parents can't spell the name of the city they're naming you after correctly, that's a bad sign. In other news, Kansas City, Missouri could become the largest city in the country to eliminate bus fares after the city council voted to find a way to make bus service free. Hey, you paying attention, D.C.? This could be us, but you playing. D.C. should pay us for having a ride to X2. In other news, during his NFL game player introduction, the Buffalo Bills' Tredavious White said he represented the Tredavious White Goalie Academy of Louisiana at Buffalo instead of his actual alma mater, LSU. Now, is he saying he skipped most of his classes in college? Or has he founded his own school, like the Derek Zoolander School for Kids Who Can't Read Good and Want to Do Other Stuff Good, too? questions that need answers. In other news, a Packers thief in St. Paul, Minnesota had the audacity to leave a thank you note behind after stealing a delivery from someone's porch. Now he or she is going to get caught. Anybody that's ever watched Scooby-Doo knows what happens when you leave clues behind. They're going to know every porch this person stole from like the wet bandits in Home Alone. And finally, many women are reportedly taking to social media proclaiming their love for their small engagement ring, saying there's no need to quote upgrade later. Hey, I'm cheap. You know I'm here for this. Clearly, they're all keepers and their future husbands are some lucky men. Some couples get divorced before the husband is done paying for the wedding and the rings. They'll have a honeymoon, they'll have honeymoon money, and they're less likely to get robbed on vacation with that tiny rock on their fingers. It is a win-win. Let me know what you think of these stories using the hashtag GetUpDC. And if you also want a tiny wedding ring, I got a couple of fellas that are broke that would make beautiful matches with all of y'all. It is